On April 19th, Louise Arbour will address Speaking Truth to Power to an audience at the University of British Columbia and online. We'd like to take a moment to introduce you to Ms. Arbour and her work. At home and abroad, Louise Arbour is known for taking principled stands and speaking truth to powers that don't always want to hear it. In 1996, Arbour rose to world prominence as the chief prosecutor at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda and the former Yugoslavia. She was the first to target a sitting head of state when she indicted Yugoslav President Slobodan Milosevic. The prosecutor versus Slobodan Milosevic. After the Milosevic indictment, Arbour became the first prosecutor in history to get a conviction of genocide. Among other crimes, Rwandan Mayor Jean-Paul Akayasu was convicted of using rape as a weapon of genocide. This was a key moment in Arbour's campaign against the targeting of women in war. After her time as chief prosecutor, Arbour returned to Canada to take a seat on the Supreme Court. But in 2004, she returned to the arena of international politics, now as the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. In this role, she took strong stands on Zimbabwe, Darfur, and honor killings. Arbour's positions on the U.S. war on terror and the Israel-Lebanon conflict provoked controversy in North America. She stood her ground and remained unrepentant. It's in the nature of our work to uh, speak in an international forum of what essentially is uh, the relationship between a government and its own people. That's where human rights law situates itself. It would be extremely problematic to do this work um, and making only friends. Louise Arbour is now the president of the International Crisis Group, the world's most influential think tank on peace and security. Join us for an intimate conversation with Arbour on April 19th at the University of British Columbia, or watch and participate online at the Canadian International Council's website, opencanada.org.